What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw the Joker. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We're gonna start from the very top. So we're gonna slowly work our way down towards the bottom and then bring that back up towards the top. Let's leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So we'll start by lining up the top of that circle on the right side. And we just wanna bring that down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Let's add a small highlight on the top left side of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, we'll draw a circle coming in and then back out. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then we'll fill the bottom of the eyes in black. Now let's add those markings across the top of the eyes. We're gonna start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and we'll bend that down on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up and then down. From the outside, we're gonna draw a curve going up and in towards the center. So let's start on the outside, going up, bending that in, then this in and then down. Now you wanna do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside, going up towards the same height and bring that down towards the outside. Let's add those markings underneath the eye. Starting from the side, curve this down and in towards the middle. Go in and then up. Let's go over towards the right. Bring them down and then back up. Let's move to the center and draw the bottom edge of the nose. We'll start on the left, curve this down and then up. Let's bump out the nostrils, going out and then in with a small half circle on both sides. And we'll close off the top with another curve, going up and then down. Now we're going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. We'll start all the way over on the left, then it's down in the middle, just underneath the nose, and then go up on the right. Let's go back to the left side, curve the bottom, coming all the way down in towards the middle, round this out, and then go back up. Now you want to draw the bottom edge of the mouth along the top. So step over towards the left, curve this down, round this out, and then go up. Now in the center, let's step down at a small curve from the lower lip. Let's separate the teeth. On the outside, curve this down and in with a short line. Line this up on the right, do the same thing. Now you want to cross this like a T with a straight line coming down and then fill the bottom corners of the T. Now from here we're going to move out and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, let's step out, let's curve the head coming down, go underneath the mouth, cross the middle, go out and then up towards the right, towards the same height. Now from the outside of the head, curve this in and then bend that up. Let's close off the top with a curve, going up the middle and then back down. Now we're gonna add those two markings across the top. Let's start on the left, going up above that point, bring that down on the inside. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing, going up down. Let's go back to the inside, draw a short angle line, go up and in, and then we'll curve this up and then down towards the outside. Now from these two points, let's curve the hair, coming down and then out around the ears. And you want to tuck the ears underneath that curve, so we'll step back in, down and bend that in towards the side of the head. Now from here we can draw the outside of the hair. 
In the center of the head, let's step up. Start with a curve going up towards the right. Come around and then bend that down towards the side of the head. Now you want to add some layers across the top going out towards the left. So on the top, going up and bending that down. Go back up to the top and draw that again. Going out, just pulling that down, aiming towards this point. Let's draw the left side of the head. Starting from the top, going out, and then bending that down. Now you want to curve the hair around the ears. Starting back on the left, bend this out, go around the ear, and then curve that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going out, around, and then in. Let's curl the bottom of the hair. Just going to bend this back out. Now let's pull this in and then up toward the side. And we'll add a layer. Coming down, come in and up underneath the head. Now from here we're going to move down and draw the inside of the jacket. You a gap in the center. Let's go to the left side. Come straight down. I'm just going to bend that out towards the left side. Move over towards the right. Come straight down. And bend that out towards the right. From the bottom of the jacket, draw a straight angle line. Going up and then in, just underneath the head. Let's draw in the collar. From the inside line, angle this up and out towards the side. And come down and in towards the bottom of the jacket. From the tip of the collar, let's step in, and let's up and in underneath the head. Let's go to the center of the chin, draw two straight angle lines coming down and out across the bottom of the collar. And you want to step down, and let's down and then in towards the middle. From the center of the collar, draw a straight line coming down. Let's go past that center point towards the bottom of the vest. Angle down towards the left and right. And I'll tuck the vest in underneath the jacket. Let's add two buttons on the right side of that center line. One on the top and one on the bottom. Now from here we're going to continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. In the center, let's step down and add a curve, point up and then down. Now leaving a small gap in the middle, let's go to the left side, bend the leg going out and then down toward the left heel. Go back up to the top towards the right go out and then down towards the right heel. Now from the heel we're going to round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start on the left. Put the foot coming down and then up on both sides. And we'll go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot. We curve this up. Let's bend this down aiming towards the heel. And we'll bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up towards the top down and then bend that back up on the inside. Now you want to close off the side of the leg. From the bottom corner of the jacket, let's step in, bend the leg going out and then down on top of the feet. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the shoes. So we'll take this curve, step up from the toe and just trace that across. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw in the arms. Let's start halfway between the chin and the bottom of the jacket. So we'll start right here, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Let's line that up on the right side. From the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle coming in and then out from the thumb. And we'll close off the end with a bracket. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now with our thumb in place, we're going to add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom curve of the thumb. We come down and bend this up around that bracket. Step down, go out, bend that in. Now you want to do that one more time. We go out and we'll bend the arm coming up and then in underneath the head. Let's do the exact same thing on the right. Point around that bracket. Add that second finger. And then the third finger. Point all the way around and then in underneath. Let's separate the cuff. Start from the top of the thumb, bend this up, and then out towards the outside of the arm. 
and then we'll step up and draw that same curve for the sleeve of the jacket. And then we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's our cartoon illustration of the Joker. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.